Hi guys, this is Lego Yoshi and welcome to the third video out of four of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, today we have the Stealth Shell in Pursuit. So let's have a good closer look. Like I said, it's not a massive set this one. Uh, it's probably the smallest in terms of pieces I believe. But uh, anyway, let's have a closer look at these shall we? So the first of the two vehicles is the sewer skimmer, which is driven by Fishface. Um, it has a couple of little handles just here for, for him to control the vehicle. Uh, he has a fair bit of space inside to put his feet in this and the other, but he is that long a figure that he only just fits in. Which I will go over that in a minute when I go through the figures. On the sides he has two missile launchers, as do most vehicles in these sets and on the back he actually has um, two ooze drums I believe are called um, yes ooh, ooze drums a bit weird but oh well and basically let me just get my camera sorted it does have a little functionality for you where you do get two one of them is stuck down which is this one whereas the other one you can use to fire like so and off it goes. Not the most brilliant thing in the world, but it's a nice little feature. The next vehicle is the Stealth Shell. Um, comes with three wheels, so it's a bit more like a trike. Or a tricycle, depending on how you want to say it. Um, it comes with four missile launchers, which are these two on the top here, and then two on the bottom down here. Um, not very much else to say, apart from does come with a double barrel uh, flame for boosting, so I'll be able to catch up to uh, Fish Face and his sewer skimmer. And also one more little thing is that this bit here, if I can get to do it with one hand, it lifts up. Oh, hi Raphael, how are you? Uh, yes, lifts up so you can easy access to put your minifigures in. And now for the minifigures. The first one is one that I'm not going to go over very, very long. Um, it's the foot soldier again. Um, just comes with a different weapon this time. This time comes with two little uh, shooting stars or shuriken, I think they're pronounced, uh, instead of the morning star. Or the uh, sword that the other one comes with, I think. Yeah, the dual swords. So there we go for that one. The second minifigure is Fish Face. Now, this is quite an interesting figure. Um, it comes with his fin, which looks like a Mohican, which is quite nice. Uh, comes with some breathing apparatus. Just gonna... There we go. Comes with a little oxygen tank. Since he is out of water, he will, he will need it. Since it doesn't look like it's actually connected to his mouth. Um, he has a very long tail for his fish. And some robotic legs so he can walk on land. Now, as I was saying um, earlier in the uh, sewer skimmer, um, he does fit in there, but it is a very, very tight fit. I'm not sure exactly what I mean. Like I said, with the legs, unlike most minifigures, he actually takes up two studs. And then you've got his tail to deal with. So let me show you how tight a fit he actually is. Here we go. As you can see, his tail literally smacks into the red uh, bar at the back. And his feet are literally right up against the, the front. To get him in, you have to actually bend his legs in, and then stick him down. So it's not brilliant for size, it could do with like another stud space or something like that, but like I say, it's an extremely tight fit. And the last minifigure of the set is Raphael. Though we have seen three of the turtles already, and there's only one more that I really need to introduce. Um, with this one, like I say, it comes with his red sash across his head. Like Michelangelo's orange and Dante's purple. Uh, he comes with a pretty angry expression on his face, unlike the last two. And Michelangelo was quite happy, and Donatello had the uh, not a sad face, but he had like a thinking face or determined face. Whereas Raphael just looks extremely annoyed and wants to catch up to Fish Face as soon as possible. And in the weapons that he comes with are his two sides, his two knives, or whatever you want to call them. Um, all one piece, unlike the other two's weapons so far, which obviously were three parts each. So yeah, not a bad little minifigure. 
So there we go then guys, that was the third set. We only have one more set to go, um, which is the Turtle Lair set, which will be in the next video. Um, as for a couple of things about this set, just give me two seconds. Right, so, um, the price for this set was 19.99, and the pieces was 162, and it was released in December 2012 in the US and Canada, and the rest of the world was 2013. Um, once again, not really good for pieces to price in my ratio thing that I have going. But it is a nice little set, but I do have it joint third with the Dragon Bikes. Not a massive amount going for the set. So next time, like I said, we're going for Turtle Lair Attack, which is personally my uh, favourite turtle set. And the biggest. So I look forward to doing that one for you guys. And I shall see you on the next video. See you later guys.